The route back to Diamond City was an easy one. No mutants or mongrels. Piper was certain that she knew a guy who would have a sensor module. And with the amount of food that we were carrying away from the bunker, we'd have more than enough to trade. There was something about being back here that felt good. And I knew Piper felt the same way. It'd been a while since she'd seen her kid sister. They had a lot to catch up on. Piper! You're not going to believe what happened. Shannon Kowalski tried to kiss me. No! What'd you do? What'd I do? I knocked him on his ass. Now I've got detention. <laughs> oh, Natalie. Never change. And you're super grounded. Now go. Man. The locals seemed to be celebrating an out-of-season Halloween. They still had a lot of access to decorations. It was October when the bombs dropped. Over two centuries ago. And even though we had a surplus of food, it was nice to eat something fresh. Yeah, fresh might be a stretch, but it was hot at least. From what Piper was telling me, Diamond City's surplus was the place to be. And that if they didn't have what we needed, they'd be able to put us in touch with someone in the city that did. And that wasn't the only place of interest. If this teleporter worked, and I found myself in the Institute, I'd need to be ready for a fight. The weapons and the armor they had wouldn't help, but the ammunition certainly would. Now was the time to stock up. Piper was right about finding a module here. Diamond City's resident biologists. They were happy with a trade for food, a little medication, and a lot of caps on top. They swore up and down that the module still worked. Before we knew it, the sun was on its way out. Not evening, but late afternoon. I could tell that Piper wanted to stay. Hell, Nick too. We had all we needed. Now is the time. Now is the night. We have everything we need for the console. Either Tom's plan works, and I find the Institute, or I am disintegrated down to my very atoms. For Sean, for Riley, that was a risk I was willing to take. Weather's nice at least. We got that going for us. It's not too far. A few blocks. And past a little bit of trouble. Nothing we can't manage. Here, let's have a look at the route. This is us here. It's a straight shot up to Hangman's Alley. Let's get moving. You got everything you need? All right. Good. This is the way. Defending Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. That's good to hear. Keep it together. We've seen trouble down that way before. They seem to have a lock on things. Hey. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Lucky you're near the Great Green Jewel. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> That's the biggest piece of civilization they got. Doesn't look like the mutants have moved back in. They're finally starting to win that fight. The streets are clear. It's oddly quiet. Yeah, we're close now. That should lead straight through. Gotta clean that up. Chained. Right. Remind me to sort that out. We'll pay to have a quick way in and a quick way out. Everything clear? Yeah, we're okay. Institute's got no idea. Let's keep it that way. Tarts are still there. Recognize us? Yeah, we're okay. Good. 
does. Hey, I wasn't expecting you here. All along, the bastards have been teleporting personnel to the surface. Is there nothing they can't do? Well, let's hope they can stop this. Work with Tom. We'll do anything we can to support you. I got all the pieces in my pack. I'll set them out. Let you and Valentine do your thing. All right. Let's go. Everything. Every night. Every day, every bullet fired, every drop of blood has led to this. Okay, that's the last one in sequence. We're good to go. Sounds like it's working. Actually, I don't know if that's a good sound or a bad sound. What kind of sound is a beam emitter meant to make? Anything I can do? You just stay to work. Just stay close. I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, Nick. Damn. I've been busy. Most of it was ready. I appreciate everything. The long hours. This took a lot. We're finally here. Status report. We got activity, Biz. Not sure how long before peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Sorry, Patriot? There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name, we've never had a way to contact him, so we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. That's not much to go on. How would I know it's them? You have to try. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Look, Zez, this whole thing makes me uncomfortable. Eleventh hour and all that. You know why I'm doing this. The safety of my son comes first and foremost. We don't have a lot of options. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any Institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Yeah. A terminal. Any terminal. We're gonna have to cut a few corners with the scan. It's time. What do we got? Ready when you are. Shit. All right. Just in the middle. The signal's still intensifying. Uh, okay, okay. Piper. Val. It's been a pleasure. All right. Just stand on the platform. I'll take it from there. Blue. Just a step.
Vista. Right here. So stand still. You can lock in all those molecules of yours. Yeah. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. Sure. All right. Feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Oh, man. Uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. You Come sure? On. Do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on. I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about synths, about the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R up. We got it. Find a way to <sighs> save them. Nobody else can. I'm alive. I'm alive. It worked. I'm in. Okay. They're gonna know. They're gonna know I'm not a Corsair. Infiltration. Right. No welcome party. That's fine. Mm. Quieter. Yeah. It's pristine. Short version, plug this into any institute terminal and copy the message. Long version, Patriot's been sending us short, coded messages for years, using an evil little encryption scheme. It's a bitch and a half to reverse engineer. Patriot's got skill, but I nailed it. Put this holotape on any institute terminal and I'll deliver a gift wrapped message straight to Patriot. You're going into the belly of the beast, friend. Don't trust anything. TT out. Copy the message. Right. Maybe a scan. Let's copy that first. Done. Urgent reply. Okay. Strange. Acknowledged. Meet at the Advanced Systems Maintenance Room. From Terminal 001B. There is an insider then. A scan could give me away. It's gonna have to be good enough. <sighs> Guns blazing. We're quiet. Be as quiet as I can. For as long as I can. Straight ahead. Hello. Hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. 
I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. You can hear me? You can see me? Oh, good. You know why I'm here. You know I'm not going to leave without him. This doesn't have to be bloody, but I will make it bloody. You hear me? Cowards. Hiding behind all of this. straight. Oh, not so talkative, huh? It doesn't matter how fancy your house is. You still took my son. And I will kill you for that. God damn, it's bright. Hey, kid. Sean? S that you? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. You're really Sean? What... What do you know? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you... Are you okay? You're not 
hurt are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What, what do you want me to do? Sean, tell me what I can do. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, Sean, please. Calm down. I'm gonna get you out of here. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! You... You do this? You lock him in here? Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I What did you do to him? He's a prototype, you understand. Eight. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. I'll give you extreme. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. The kid? He is Synth? Give me Sean. My Sean. I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. You don't know shit, asshole. Tell me now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. No. No, they... they stole you. They stole my kid. It's not right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. No. No, no. You've lost me. There's no point to that. No point to any of this. You don't see the connection. Let me try to explain. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. I... I don't... I don't believe you. I don't believe any of this. It's not true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you wanted, but it's the only truth I can offer you. It can't be true. It can't. 
I... Everything I've done, I've done for you. Everything. It... I... I'm so sorry. I wish that things were different. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please, let's just talk. You? You're... you're not him. You're not my son, you're not Sean. He died then. With Riley. Sixty years ago. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the Relay. Then I'm against you. You are my son. Sorry. 